In this video, we will look into some SQL command. Let us create a table called SQL commands table. So the syntax would be create table SQL commands table start braces mpyd is the field we are taking is of inter integer type data type amp name where care of n department where care of 20 braces close this is how we create a table execute this and in the tables we right click refresh you can see the sql commands table has been created here and the columns are amp id which is an integer data type amp name which is a varchar data type of 10 bytes and department is varchar data type of 20 bytes all are null that means they can accept null values. Now let us insert some records into this table. So the syntax would be insert into SQL commands table values amp id is 1 and amp name I am giving it as A and department is marketing. Similarly, we will enter the rest of the records like amp id 2 amp name b and department is finance c hrd marketing 5e finance 6 f hr so let us insert these records so now we can look at that table by using select statement select amp id amp name comma amp name from sql commands table so if i execute this if the records have been entered 1a 2b 3c 4d 5e 6f and if we want to see the department also we can say comma DEP department from SQL commands table. So if I execute this department also showed up. So you can see any of the columns by giving the column names after the select command. Now select star so you can uh, instead of giving each field name separately you can just give star if you want all the fields or the column names to be displayed so select star from sql commands table so this is the same thing if you want just amp name to be displayed select amp name from sql commands table and uh, you can say these amp names if you want to show them as f e d c b a in the reverse order or a descending order you can say select amp name from sql commands table order by amp name d e s is descending so if you, you can say f e d c b a in the descending order so here we are giving order by amp name descending d e s e is a short form of descending now if you want to see let me select everything and here you have two marketing two finance and two hr records so if you want to find out how many um, records are there for each department then you use group by the so group by department you should group by department so that 
you can count how many uh, records in that department are there so for that the command would be select department comma count of star from sql commands table group by department so if i execute it the finance two records hr two two records and marketing two records here it's there is no column name showing here so after count of star if i say as uh, n u m num now for number of records then if i execute this so the column name comes n u m so that's how we can use a group by to find out uh, the number of records of each group so finance is 2 hr is 2 marketing is 2 now let me execute the table again so we got all these six records now if we want to know the distinct department so marketing finance and hr it's repeating twice so if you want to show only how many distinct departments are there then we use the word distinct so select distinct department from sql commands table if i execute this there are three departments here so finance hr and marketing so that's how we use distinct to find out the distinct records now let us insert under record to the sql commands table insert into sql commands table values 7 e and it department now let us run this query again copy this paste it here execute so we have these three now we insert this now this row has been inserted now if i execute this so we got the it is num one so now if i want num greater than two that is more than one then i can say I can use this same uh, query group by department having count of star greater than one. Now, if I execute this. So I get only the count of star is greater than one records. So we can use having after group by. So it will filter whatever has been grouped by, it will filter those records. In case of where clause, it will filter those records before the group by. And having will filter the records after the group by and uh, we use a delete statement to delete some records from the table so if i want to delete mpid 1 a one day marketing so i can say delete from sql commands table where mpid is equal to 1 so if i execute this 
and select star from fuel command stable again so first record has been deleted where mp is equal to 1 has been deleted now if we want to delete all the records in this stream not just uh, a particular record then we use truncate table command so if i execute this truncate table sql command stable execute and if i select everything from the table now so nothing is there so truncate deletes everything from the all the records from the table now if i want to drop this table i want to delete this table i can as well select it here and then uh, press the delete button or if i want to do it through a query it is drop table drop table sql commands table so if i execute this and right click tables and then refresh the table has been deleted so these are some of the important uh, commands in sql if you like the video please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button for notifications on upcoming videos, please click on the bell icon.